Let's talk about word problems. What is a word problem? It is a story problem about numbers. We put numbers together. We count something and put the number together. For example, you have two markers. Two markers. But you need it more for plus. markers you have all together in total let's count one two three four five six so from the word problem or the story problem we made this number sentence. Let's do more practice on word problem. Let's read. It's like a story, so we have to read it first. Four girls sat at their desks. How many girls? Four. Three boys sat their desks. How many boys? Three. How many children? So we need to put the two numbers together. Four plus three equals. How can we do that? Let's count on our hands. Show four on your right hand and three on your left hand and then count them together one two three four five six seven so four plus three equals seven let's do another example okay story problem. I have six pencils and my dad brought me more too. How many pencils do I have? Okay, let's show the numbers on our hands. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six on one hand and we add more two. One, two. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pencils. Let's write the number sentence on the board. I have six pencils. And my dad brought me more two. How many pencils do I have? Do you remember? Yes, eight, right. Let's read the number sentence again. Six plus two equals eight. Remember that this sign is called plus. Repeat after me, plus, plus. Excellent. Word problems can ask you to subtract instead of adding. It can ask you to take away number. Okay? Let me make up a story. I have five pencils. My dad brought me five pencils. But my sister asked me for one. How many?
many pencils are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. See? Let's write the number sentence. How many pencils I had? Five. And my sister took how many pencils? Remind me. One. How many pencils are left? Four. This is the number sentence. Let's read it. Five minus one equals four. As I told you, word problems can ask you to take away numbers. Okay? Let's read this. You had five apples at lunch. And four of these apples were eaten. Five. How many were eaten? Four. The question here. How many apples were left? Okay. We can use our fingers. How many fingers can you see? Five. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five apples. Okay. Let's eat four apples. One, two, three, four. How many apples are left? Just one. Let's read the number sentence. Five minus four equals one. Okay. If you want more challenge, look at this example. If you had ten glass bottles, ten. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and three plastic bottles. Three. How many bottles are there altogether? Look at the word altogether. It means that we are going to add two numbers to get the total. So, what sign you are going to put in the middle here? Plus or minus? As long as you are going to add, so the sign you are going to write is plus. Okay. Let's add 10 to 3. We have 10 bottles and what comes after 10? 11, 12, 13. The total here is 13. Can you read this number se a sentence again? 10 plus 3 equals 13. Let's move to the next example. If you had 5 milkshakes, 5. And two fizzy drinks. Two. How many drinks do you have in total? In total. In total means that we are going to put which sign? Plus or minus? Yes. Plus. Five plus two equals. Again, how many milkshakes do you have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And how many fizzy drinks? Two. What comes after five? Six, seven. Can you read this number sentence? Five plus two equals seven. Now we have more story problems, but this time uh, asking you to take away and to something. Let's have a look at this one. If you had five books and you have read three, so we need to settle the numbers here. Five books. And how many have you read? Three. 
How many would you have left? How many would you have left? So we need to draw the five books first. One, two, three, four, five. And how many books have you read? Three? We need to cross out three. How many books have left? Let's count. One, two. Two are left. Now, as long as we have crossed the, bo the books and we find this word left, it means that we are going to subtract. Let's write the number sentence. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Again, I'll explain it again. If you have 5 books, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you have read 3 of them, Cross out three. One, two, three. How many would you have left? Let's count. One, two. The number sentence here is five minus three equals two. Another example. If you had ten sausages in a pack, and you have cooked four of them. So how many sausages do you have? 10. And how many sausages did you cook? Four. What does the story problem ask you to do next? How many sausages would you have left in the packet? left that means that they are going to subtract and what sign you are going to put in the middle minus we need to draw the 10 sausages first can you draw are left one two three four five six can you read the number sentence ten minus three, four equals six that's good this is the end of our lesson for today see you next time bye